check the description box below and don't forget to hit that like button. Hello guys and goddesses, Coco here with your Coco from the Dark podcast where we connect with the most high, our emotions, and the innermost parts of ourselves that tries to elude us at every turn. This is a space of not only connecting and healing, but also to give you the confirmations and the answers that you've been seeking. So thank you so much for being here with me and thank you for being willing to connect with you. Namaste. Okay, so y'all, I did not get many downloaded messages beforehand, but what I did get is the message that sometimes paying attention to the signs is as simple as paying attention to your feelings, thoughts, impulsions or impulses and then i got in quotations and y'all know i gotta put the disclaimer out there that if you've been rocking with me for a while you know that if there are quotations these are words specifically from the most high to trigger some sort of uh, confirmation or action or healing or something within you so the message is happiness versus instant gratification so from that message i'm getting to take your time and think on something instead of jumping into it for instant gratification will it make you happy in the long run will it, will it sustain you is the message that i got from that so i pray all is well with you and these messages find you in divine timing don't forget to drink your water connect with your emotions Somebody is not drinking the water because I'm already feeling a little dehydrated and I just started. Drink that water. Keep drinking the water. Even though the temperatures are cooling down, drink that water, okay? And by all means, connect. Connect with those emotions. Let's see. hearing a message as I'm shuffling there's some sort of attachment it's like I feel I feel someone like attached to I, I see multiple choices but I see someone like attached to one specific choice decision person job thought it's like out of, out of a multitude of things, there's this one thing that you just can't take your mind off of. I just saw two, two, two. I'm hearing, y'all know on that movie, I Know What You Did Last Summer, when, <laughs> was it the second one? I don't know, but when she got like in the middle of the the, the the courtyard and she was just spinning around talking about what are you waiting for huh i don't know i'm picking up on that energy for someone either you are in the space of like what are you waiting for or spirit is is asking you what are you waiting for it just really depends on where you are on your journey are you procrastinating holding back and then that spirit's message to you if this is not you holding back or procrastinating, this is you waiting, awaiting something. I feel like you've been waiting for something for a minute. For some of you, I'm hearing something about some sort of contract or lease. You're signing something, even a mortgage some sort of important papers something about lawyers I'm, he I'm hearing something about an accountant I heard money management I feel like I'm hearing stocks and bonds I feel like some of you are um, investing you're investing in something to make sure you have something to fall back on if you need to. <clears throat> I 
feel like a lot of you are starting to connect with your ooh, with your higher self. You're starting to listen to your intuition and follow your intuition after a lot of fighting, battling with trusting yourself. Excuse me, thank you. I feel like someone's in their, their fight stance. I just heard fight or flight. And then I just heard, are you going to barbecue or are you going to meal do? I'm sensing a lot of healing. Someone may be with child, about to be, or just had a child. Sunflowers may be significant. Something about a forest, a lot of trees, a park. Lions may be significant or cats in general. Birds. I'm hearing something along the lines is I'm tired of pouring into things that don't pour back into me. I feel like there is this want or desire for reciprocity, equal give and take. Someone putting in the same amount of effort or more than you are putting in. I feel like you are healing from dealing with people who, you know, did not. There was no, there was, it was unrequited. And I feel like you are healing from that and moving forward towards owning your power, setting boundaries, not putting up with people's bull. I'm hearing not just talking about it, but being about it. Let's see what this is that's heavily on the mind. That's something heavily on the mind. It feels like it's something that's heavily on the mind of a masculine energy. Let's see what this is. Right off the bat, I feel like it's, a, it's something that they hold near and dear to their heart. Something that's of value, high value. I just heard high value person. Remember, masculine and feminine don't mean male or female. They don't, they, it's not about gender. It's about the energy. Masculine is more of action and feminine is more of the intellectual side. So let's see. I'm seeing someone like doing some sort of manual labor. You could either be working in a yard, working in a garden, or just doing some manual labor at a job. I also see someone like balancing out this thought. There's like this energy of balancing out two things or multiple things. Okay, so this message, I wasn't, I didn't want to say it at first. That's why I got silent for a minute. But the, this message that I'm picking up on is that there is a masculine energy that has their pick of relationships or people who are interested in having a relationship with them. But they have their sights set on. Um, okay, so yeah i'm picking it's that energy again that i was picking up earlier on like someone having like a lot of choices but thinking on one thing and it's like this energy of you kind of have your decision made but this second option is i don't know it's like it's it's still in the running it's not winning but it's still in the running but there is a more uh, option that is more pleasing for you or to you or you know whoever this message is for I feel like someone is like <laughs> making a list of pros and cons <clears throat> I honestly feel like someone's mind is made up about something but they're making it more complicated than it needs to be that's what I feel July 23rd, July 5th, 
or July 2nd or July July 3rd may be significant to someone. Archangel Michael may be significant. The colors red and yellow or gold, gold may be significant. I just heard heart on your sleeve. You wear your heart on your sleeve. I keep hearing, be about it, don't just talk about it. But I also heard, talk about it, don't be about it. I heard it the opposite way. Talk about it, don't be about it. Let's see, let me think on that one. Let me connect and see why I don't talk about it. Why I talk about it, don't be about it. Hmm. I feel like there's this energy of needing to like think on something. Like think it out, talk it out, speak it out to yourself. Take it all the way through before you make a decision. So that's why it's talk about it, don't be about it. Don't make a move before you think. I feel like someone's been working hard towards some sort of legacy, some sort of firm foundation. I'm hearing 10, 10, 10 across the board. I heard happy wife, happy life. <clears throat> it's another one, but it's it's like a more equal. It's not happy wife, happy life, but it's like both parties. I don't know, but it, I, I'm feeling the energy of happy person, happy life. Something about a medal. Like an award medal. I see someone needing some downtime. Like to disconnect from electronics or maybe you're going through that right now. I see someone listening. It's like someone's talking to you, speaking to you about something. And you're listening. You're being an active listener without judging. But still with like strict boundaries. I feel like someone is like trying to, I don't know, talk you into something, out of something, apologize for something. I don't know. I just see you listening actively with your boundaries. I feel like you have gone through enough of unsteadiness. I'm hearing that song. I don't want to be anything other than what I've been trying to be lately. Okay. I just, I just want to be me. I feel it. Not what you want me to be, not what he want me to be, not what she want me to be, but me, who I am, who I've grown to be. Birds are very significant. I don't know. It's either the energy of birds or birds. The energy of birds is like taking flight, taking chances, thinking from a bigger perspective. Elevating or birds are significant to you. I feel like something took a lot of strength or is taking a lot of strength. There is some sort of transition that is taking place, that some sort of shift that's, you know, taking some, it's taking some patience to deal with. I feel some gifts coming in for you, some sort of praise, some sort of recognition coming in. Sometimes 
so an energy that I'm picking up, a message I'm picking up is that there is this feminine energy who has elevated. And this feminine energy is feeling balanced, getting to a space of freedom. And the masculine energy I'm hearing is two steps behind. And this isn't to say that anyone is above anyone. It's just it's speaking of a perspective of healing and growth, like spiritual, spiritual growth and emotional growth and things like that. I feel like the masculine has gone through some sort of transition or some sort of energy that has helped them to make some sort of decision to move forward in something. And this is why the masculine is only two steps behind the feminine instead of, you know, 10 or so. I'm, I am picking up this energy on something speeding up. It's like right after this transition happens for the masculine, something speeds up. I feel like the feminine energy is in this space of solitude. And the masculine is learning to be in solitude, learning to enjoy the solitude. Or I'm hearing stealing time to have solitude. Yeah, I, feel, I really feel strongly about this masculine wanting to heal something. So however it applies for you, if you're in your masculine energy or your feminine energy, however it applies for you or, you know, someone in your energy. I'm sensing a lot of healing, a lot of gentle healing. Connect with water. Go by the water. Even if you just get on your phone or your TV or something and, um, you know, go on YouTube and search for like a, a, a an ocean view, ocean sounds or something like that. Okay, so since I'm picking up on love, I'm, I just started picking up on love. So I'm going to go ahead and do a love message before I close out. Because, you know, I am the enchantress of romance and all of that. All of that good stuff. So right off the bat, I feel like this message is for the singles. It's for the singles, but it's somebody in your energy. Someone is spiritually connecting to you, energetically pulling on you. I'm hearing kingdom spouse. I just heard, I just saw family. I don't know why I said heard. I just saw family. You know what I'm picking up on when I hear family in this love reading? Spirit babies. Spirit babies trying to connect the masculine and the feminine energy. I feel as though there is like a, a bridge, a gap not a bridge, a gap in between the, the financial levels of the masculine and the feminine energy. I feel like the person that has the most finances worries about someone taking advantage of their money. And I feel like the person who does not have the most finances worries about someone taking advantage of their love. And it's like you, you both are going to be beneficial to each other in way more ways than one. 
someone who has the money is going to be beneficial to the person who doesn't, of course. And someone who has the love is going to be beneficial to someone who has the finances because it feels like the one who has the finances has not experienced real love or it's been a while. Yeah, these spirit babies are heavy. Have they, have they? Dream girls, <laughs> maybe significant. Is that from Dream Girls? I think so. The message that I feel like that the Most High wants to get out to you that when you come into a connection, express yourself. Express yourself. Did I just put two songs together? <laughs> I need to say to the person with the finances, you deserve love and you will receive love. Do not judge a book by its cover. Do not judge someone based upon their circumstances and be open, use discernment and follow your heart. Follow your heart, follow your intuition. And for the person who does not have finances, this person with the finances, don't be afraid to be open with them about things that you are struggling with. I'm not saying that, you know, just go out and ask them to just throw all their money at you and, you know, take care of everything. But I'm feeling this energy of you, you aren't used to the type of money that this person is coming in with. So, you aren't going to be comfortable with asking for help if you need help. And we, know, we, we see that you are not the type of person to take advantage of someone. So think of yourself. Think of your character when you are about to ask for help or when you need to ask for help. If you need to ask for help, think of your character. You're not the type of person to take advantage of someone. So do not feel you know, embarrassed or, or anything about asking for help. Just ask. I just heard a closed mouth doesn't get fed. And the answer will always be no if you don't ask. Because I feel like this person wants to invest in someone who loves them. They don't mind at all. It's like you complete each other. Even though you're complete, you know, you're complete without each other. Because, you know... You are a perfect balance or you're learning to be a perfect balance of masculine and feminine energy. But we having a connection with someone is just always so special. You're going to balance each other out. And besides, if you I feel like if you get the right finances behind you, you're going to have you're going to grow your own finances. You just needed the support. This is for some of you. This is a specific message. But yeah, so that is your message. I, four, five, six on the clock. That is your message. I send you all so much love and light. This was episode 18, y'all. Episode 18. Well, officially, because y'all, if you go in my playlist and in my videos, you see I got a million, but episode 18. <laughs> What is it? What am I going to do for episode 30? Why well, I'm thinking ahead already. Episode 30, what we going to do? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> anyway, y'all. <laughs> I'm out for real. Love and light. Namaste.